Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Shen Salvador. We're working on the Ideas Guy campaign. We have a long way to go for this achievement. Like it just says monthly income, at least 500 ducats. We're sitting at 120 something, 144. So we've improved it a little bit. We're currently working on colonizing the coast of Canada so that Britain cannot get to the interior. Last episode, we beat up on a lot of West Africans. And we're going to finish off Conan Bornu right now, who had a chance to to um, co he had a chance to coalition us, but he didn't do it. In fact, I'm surprised Tunis is not coalitioning us right now. Tunis has 108 aggressive expansion against us, and Morocco's got 125. So why aren't they coalitioning us? I don't know. But one thing I could do. Okay, no, 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 no. What about Morocco? Okay, one thing I could do is I could declare on Morocco. Once I've annexed my vassal Jolof, I can declare on Morocco and just eat him up. He's only allied to Tunis, so there's no reason not to do it. And uh, in the peace deal with Tunis, I can make him break his alliance with the Ottomans, and then that would allow me to eat all of North Africa. So that's a possibility. And if I do that, I could maybe have a second collection for trade here in this zone. The Sevilla zone. Eh, that doesn't seem very appealing, though. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? Oh, shoot, I had a core that stopped coring at 98.1% because this dude has a core there. You jerk. <laughs> it's one of those silly game mechanics that you got to watch out for. Your cores will just stop if you don't have... Um... Oh, finished a conversion. Nice. Your cores will just stop if you're at war with someone who has a core on the province you're trying to core. Just the way it works. All right, that was a quick war. Take your land, get rid of your cores on my shit, dude. Goodbye, Conan Bornu. Nice knowing you. Yay, we finished our mission. And Malacca is trying to westernize off us. He's not going to westernize, but he's trying. Next mission. Uh, protect against the Commonwealth, 102 troops. Yeah, I can do that. I have to build one soldier. <laughs> one soldier. All right, let's build a let's build a little stack here. What what did I make my stacks look like? Oh, I didn't even make a template. Um, you know what? Really, I just need cannons. I'm just gonna build like ten cannons here. It's gonna take some time, but it's worth it because that's 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 what we're lacking, right? We have six cannons, five cannons, zero, one. All right, I'm going to put everyone in this province and we're going to do some merging and then splitting so we can balance out our troops. And I think there's a little 4k, there is, there's a little 4k stack here I should probably bring over as well. So why don't we go bring them over and we'll do some merging and splitting. Okay. Cores are rolling in, very nice. Are we going to eat Asia? We're going to eat some of Asia, yes. We're going to focus on the Philippines because of the trade in the Philippines. So the way the trade goes from here is we can send... Oh, I thought it went to Mexico. It goes to Panama. We can send Philippine trade to Panama. And the Philippines receives trade from this Chinese node, Canton. So if we conquer Canton, we can push trade down to the Philippines and push trade to the New World where we can collect it. I think that's what we're going to do. Because we're only going to get three more merchants from... Oh, shit, we have a colonist. Let's go to Manila. We're only going to get three more merchants from the trade idea group. That's it. There's not a whole lot to get. So those three merchants are going to go to the Philippines, Canton, and I believe Lahasa. Yeah, the one for Tibet, I believe, goes to Canton. So we can push, we can push those three to the Philippines, and that's it. It's very limiting. Very limiting having your capital in the new world because you can't just put trade from like you can't conquer Europe and send European trades to the new world. It doesn't work that way. And you can't send Australian trades to the new world. It's just impossible. You'd have to send it all the way around Africa first. All right. So we've got little, four little stacks of troops there. Very nice. 
join up. So what's the composition of each stack here? 12, 3, 3? Yeah, so we have three cannons in each army. So building 10 more cannons, yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Take Macau? Oh yeah, we're definitely going to take Macau. It's part of the Canton node. Oh, hey, look. The guy that I forced converted to Norse just conquered someone else, so he's going to convert that to Norse as well. Sweet. Spread the Norse. France annexed Holland. Okay. Goodbye, Holland. Not that Holland was very big. Holland was one province minor. But still, France peacefully vassalized him and then annexed him because he's a jerk. Remove Huila from the map. Huila is this guy, right? Do we still have a truce? No, our truce is up. All right, I guess that's a good mission for us. Just go do that quickly. And come on back from Etagon. And let's get some claims here on Quito. Yeah, because our truce should be up three years. Okay, fine. We have an army in South America, do we? Oh, we do. Thank you. I guess I can use them to conquer this shit. Oh, that's super helpful. And Castile's embargoing us again because he's a jerk. God damn it, Castile. So when is this going to be a colonial nation? Uh, he's got to finish both of those. It'll take some time. That's too bad because we're going to lose. We're going to lose Western arms trade. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> oh, well. France full next Burgundy. Goodbye, Burgundy. I forgot about this army over here. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, let us come on back. Let's get some more claims on Malacca. Because they're going to be my first target over here. He's a really good target over here. And let's just claim his high development stuff, which is Siak, Johor, and Roken. Lemon. Okay, Johor is the best. Claim that. Oh, what about this one? Is that your capital? Yeah, Malacca's capital is on a little island of Binton. Okay. Unexpected capital location. When the telegraph is invented, you should invent Norse code. Oh my god. It's going to be another one of those punny days. Oh, God. I both love and loathe the punny days. Coast of South Indian Ocean. Sure. Go find the coast of everything, man. And come on back from here on. Let's declare this war. Sup, douchebag. Poor guy. He's uh, several techs behind us. By several, I mean he's eight techs behind. Military techs. So he's fucked. I'm going to go ahead and fabricate on whatever we can over here. Why not? Slurp my coffee a little nice and slow. That little island's gonna be Hong Kong? No, it's not. You think this is Hong this is Singapore. Hong Kong is up here. See this little dinghy? Well, Hong Kong is this right there, that little dot. That's Hong Kong. This is Macau. There's Hong Kong. This is Singapore.
Close, though. Close. What time of day is it here? It is 11.36 a.m. for me. It's two days before Christmas. The Palatinate is Emperor. Okay, all hail the Palatinate. So the Palatinate got three votes and Austria got three votes, but the Palatinate won somehow. Even though the Palatinate's very small and Austria is huge. I think I'm okay with leaving this stack in the in South America. So I'm going to take my fleet back over here and we'll start ferrying troops over to Asia because we're going to need a lot of troops in Asia. Like, a lot, a lot. Especially if we start fighting Ming. Oh my god. Well, maybe we won't fight Ming. Maybe we'll just leave Ming alone. He's got to explode at some point, right? Like, he didn't explode in my Golden Horde campaign. And so far, he has not exploded in this campaign. But he's got to explode at some point. He's just got to. Doesn't he? Isn't it required by law for Ming explosions to occur? I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is these rebels are very slow. 3%, 1%, 10%. It's just not happening. All right, let's peace out this fool. Gib Clay. Get rid of your cores on my shit. It's my shit. Force religion. Not even going to take his money. Fuck it. I don't need the inflation. Bye. And that was our mission. Cool. Next mission. Turn Manila into a city. Now that I can do. That's pretty easy. Let your colony finish. Oh, okay. I can do that. Forehead. God. Oh man, look how much look how much land the Commonwealth has taken. Jeez. Are you allied to Russia? No. Who are Russia's allies? Is it just Theodoro and Georgia? It is. Or Theodoro and Circassia. It is. Just them. Uh what's this? Subjects of ours has province that we claim. Renounce the claim. Yeah, I don't need it. Fuck it. Renounce the claim. I don't need the claim. What is this? Hey, game or cancelism. Thank you. Yeah, so Russia's only allies are Theodore and Circassia. He's got Union over Twer. Sweden's allied to Oldenburg, Saxony, Utrecht, and Lubeck. So they all have like small allies, but they do they all hate each other? Probably. No, oh, you don't hate Sweden, really. Interesting. Russia hates Sweden and the Commonwealth, but Sweden and Commonwealth don't hate each other. Huh. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Let's eat this fool. And we're not actually going to take his clay. I think what we're going to do is take his capital. We're going to force religion and take his capital only because that way, uh, that way it's already converted for us. It's really convenient. We can eat the rest of them later. Or maybe we'll just eat the whole thing. I don't know. I really shouldn't gorge. But I might as well get this shit out of the way. And yeah, I do need to go eat Charka. Charka has Potosi right here. Potosi. It's a silver mine, really. But in this game, there is no silver, so it's represented by gold. And look at this. It gets production plus three. Plus three. That's so much income. We're going to make so much money on Potosi. We're going to get so much inflation from Potosi. 
Oh goodness. Okay, can I can I start some more colonies? Let's see. You're at 280. I will steal you, and let's head up here so we can start getting some claims on Ming. That sounds like a plan. Claim Atawak. I wonder why his capital's in Tunja. I thought. I thought Muiska's capital was always in Bogota. I guess it's Tunja. Does Franco Castile still exist? Yeah, the annexation is almost done. He's at um, 91% annexation of Castile. Okay, goods produced plus 10. Sounds good to me. So we're almost done with the... Plutocratic idea group. Next up is caravan power and then manpower recovery speed, followed by 5% cheaper tech for the rest of the game. Pretty strong. Rebels, what? Let's bring you over to Asia. Asia. What's our force? What's our supply limit here? 28. Perfect. Still no allies, huh? And it's time for some admin tech, except we're five years ahead. So I probably shouldn't do any admin tech. Let's develop our capital some more. There we go. That's pretty expensive now. <laughs> Even with all those bonuses, it's still kind of expensive. Hey, we finished two colonies at once. I like it. And Diplotech time. Sounds good. All right, steel colonists, please. Yep, steel. And let's head over here. Election 563 or 552. Wow, these are some really good candidates. I'll take the 5-6-3. Those are some nice, nice candidates. All right, now I guess I'm just going to full next this guy. Fuck him. I mean, he's just so small. Force religion. We're done. Get rid of this stupid fort. Okay, very good. Get over here. Wait, when's our truce up with Quito? July. Eh, it's going to take some time. What was that about Congo? Congo became a protectorate of France. Eh, don't care. Don't fucking care. All right, choose our deity. The unrest guy is pretty good. I'm going to keep with the unrest guy. He's pretty solid. Uh, let's see. Explore the coast. Yeah. Revolt risk about to spawn in Malia. Or Mali. Whatever. Just increase the autonomy. Still going to get rebels, though. Yeah, we're still getting rebels. Nothing I can do about it. Doesn't hurt to do this, though. Keep the revolt risk down everywhere. All right, we got two free diplomats. What are we even doing? I guess I can declare on Ottawa. Colony done. Very nice.
Okay, finished banker. Can't really see too much up there. I think I want to come to Kalang so we can eat Ryuku. Ryuku is independent. Her trade dwindles. That sucks. Grain or naval supplies? I'll take naval supplies. Gross. Sucks when you have a province that loses the fur trade, but I guess they just did overhunting or something. Anyway, kill Adawak. No, Shrews will be up with Keto in about two months. Oh, Rebel spawns. Lol. Doesn't matter. How's Britain do with this colony? Is it almost done? No, he's still got some time to go. Okay. When we arrive in Attawampasak, I'm going to go to Cree. Just to make sure Britain doesn't try to get in here. Come on. Okay, and our truce is up with Keto. Very good. Not Ryuku? No, we gotta get Ryuku, man. He's part of the master plan, I think. Force convert. Done. To Quito we go. What's our mission? Manila. Yeah, we'll get there. Let your colony finish. Oh, okay. What's my income? Let's take a look. Income's at 150. About 150. So we have some some ways to go. We gotta get to 500. <laughs> Nobles, look to the House of Orange. This is we've had this several times now. Strengthen the status or strengthen the uh, oranges. I'm going to strengthen the oranges because we have tons of status power right now. Right? Oh, yeah, we're at 100. So strengthen the oranges a little bit. It's going to hurt our trade for a little while. That's all right. It's all right. Wow, we have 3,000 ducats. 3,000 ducats. We could build some plantations. What do we got? Trade companies? Oh, definitely. This is fur trade. Trade companies is fur trade. Let's go ahead and do that. Good way to spend our cash. Lazy diplomats. Well... We're going to need this guy back soon. So January, come on home. Just got to declare a war, damn it. Plantations for coffee. Oh, yeah, that's true. This is Shen Salvador. You're right. All right, we'll do we'll do plantations for coffee next. That's a very good point. Oh, geez, a level three fort. Okay. Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll send one dude to keep this guy from raising any troops here. All 
All right, so Britain, where are you colonizing now that you can't get into the interior of Canada? I wonder where he's going. Is he going to Florida or something? No. South America, maybe? Oh, yeah, there he is, South America. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't mind. I don't mind too much. Okay, we've made it to Taiwan. Good. That'll let us fabricate all over Ming and Ryuku. Where's our explorer? He's up here. Okay. Hi, Ming. How's it hanging? He's pretty good on tech. Ming has a really good leader, but no legal heir. Okay, this this could be good. If if he dies, he's gonna get an heir that's not strong claim. Or she, I should say. It's a it's a woman. So if she dies with no heir, they're gonna get someone who's not a strong claim, and they will lose the mandate of heaven. So that's really important here. Hoping that she dies without an heir is really important here. Got to get that uh, stupid mandate of heaven to go away. Stupid mandate of heaven. Because Mandate of Heaven lowers the national revolt risk by like five or something. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Shenadorian Hudson Bay. Nice. We'll link that up. Come down here and get Hochelega, which is the center of trade. For Hudson Bay. Why does England exist? Because he's our ally. He's our faithful friend. Isn't he your ally too? Uh-oh. Ming declared war on Ainu. Goodbye, Ainu. Goodbye, Ainu. Hi, Manchu. Uh, what? I clicked on the go to button for the Siege of Quito and it took me to the Arctic Cap. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not where Quito is. Alright, so after this war, we're going to send this army down here to Charka. I might bring another army over. I'm, in fact, I might as well. Okay, you guys have arrived. Very good. Let's go pick one of you guys up. And yeah, why don't we go to Charka before. Before uh, Britain or Portugal gets the idea to go eat charcoal, I just need to eat them. Just get it to get it over with. It's really good land to take. Lots of gold. Lots of gold. And where are our coffee plantations? There we go. Coffee. All right, let's find the coffee. Find the coffee. That's cocoa. Where's coffee? No coffee here? No coffee? There's the coffee. Yeah. All right, so our coffee is in the Caribbean, really. We have some here in Central America. But for the most part, yeah, coffee, coffee. Yeah, lots of coffee in the Caribbean. Okay, good. Well, we know where to build then. We know where to build. Caribbean. That's where it's at. And Britain's about to get a clone nation here. He's just a few months away. Maybe a year. China ware. Ooh. So even though it's a colony, even though we have a colony, we produce China ware. Don't ask me how. We just do. Timer. Oh, I hate ending episodes. I don't like ending episodes. That's our last exploration mission, really? Wow. Doors are in. All right, let's get some more claims on Malacca here. Let's claim Siak and Roken. And we'll be declaring on him very soon. Where's my navy? My navy. Exceptional year. Taxes or money? Taxes. Pick him up. 
Head on over. Finish the siege, please, so I can end the episode. Ainu would cede Bori, Bori, Bahori to Ming. Okay. It's not bad. Ming only took one province. Hmm. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Finish the siege. I want to end the episode. Please. 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 Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, Kito. I got claims on both. Force religion. Oh, he already is my religion. Perfect. Then just get a next. Bye, dude. Get rid of your fort. Oh, wow. The autonomy sucks down here. Okay. Malaka wants an alliance again. Nope. Not going to happen, my friend. Not going to happen. But we need to call that an episode here. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time. We're going to be declaring on Charka. You only have the one ally, right? No, Cusco and Mapuche. All right. Well, we can just full annex Mapuche, I guess. No, we can't because we can't core it. Eh, whatever. We can full annex Cusco, though. So why don't we get a claim on him and come back next time for the war with these idiots. And we'll also be declaring on Malacca because I want to get started eating this this little island here, Sumatra. But that's not really our goal. Our goal is to colonize the Philippines. We already have the center of trade here, but we need to be able to push that trade to, it's like right now it says we're transferring some Moluccas. That's stupid. By default, it should go where we have trade, which is Panama, but it doesn't. Anyway, we need to get a merchant to go there to go to Panama and we need to uh, fabricate all over Ming. I want to start beating him up, but we can't really do much there until, until they lose the mandate of heaven. That's going to require her to die with no babies. Oh, she wants an alliance. Why does she want an alliance? Hmm. I wonder if I can finagle into, into some wars in a way that she'll lose land or explode or something. I don't know. Anyway, we'll talk about it next time. Have a good day.